After the Barbados Association of Medical Practitioners issued a stinging rebuke of the Queen Elizabeth Hospital's Chief Operations Officer, Dr. Christine Greenwich, the two sides met today in an effort to resolve their differences. At issue were intended changes to the terms and conditions of service of consultant doctors announced by Dr. Greenwich. BAMP contended that it was not consulted about the proposed changes prior to the announcement. Well, joining us now to provide some insight into today's discussions is BAMP's president, Dr. Linda Williams. Dr. Williams, good evening to you. Good evening, sir. Yes. Are you in a position to update us on the outcome of today's meeting? Well, BAMP and the Queen Elizabeth Hospital Administration met this evening, and we are of mutual understanding that we all want the best for the QEH, our premier healthcare institution, and most importantly, for the people of Barbados. Having said that, we have agreed to work closely together and to look at all issues with respect to terms and conditions for our doctors from the junior level right up to the consultant, um, and to explore different models of healthcare and that these will be negotiated going forward. We agreed to meet regularly to continue these discussions and to put the most pressing matters first so that we can continue to share our ideas and to improve the institution as a whole. Related to the consultant doctors working more hours, where do we now stand on that? Well, as I said, we are at the point where we are negotiating we are discussing different models of care, and we have come to a place where any misunderstandings about the terms and conditions for doctors will be put to bed because we are going to talk about the contracts as a whole for all of the doctors in healthcare institutions. Can you give us some ideas to what are some of your recommendations that BAMP would have brought to the table in about improving service delivery at the hospital? Well, one of the recommendations we've made is that we look more closely at the triage system um, within the accident and emergency, and that system is basically how we decide who goes where and who needs urgent, emergent uh, care and who um, has matters that can be referred elsewhere to be dealt with. And that, that system needs to be really functioning well. I think we're all in agreement about that. That system really needs to be functioning well um, because that also determines uh, the work of the entire uh, department and of the hospital. You spoke to ongoing conversations and discussions with the hospital's management. Uh, can you give us some idea, however, as to when you hope to conclude those negotiations so you have agreement on both sides? Well, we had already begun the process of discussing terms and conditions, and that had begun since the uh, last year or year before last, 2022. And what we are doing now is that we are putting the most pressing issues uh, on the front burner, and we are going to do and to give of our very best to have these issues concluded in as short time as possible. But the, there are many matters and cannot be solved quickly or overnight and so we're going to have to continue to have discussions it's not a one-off or a quick negotiation we have to continue to have discussions but putting the most pressing issue um, which have to do with admissions and discharges from the hospital we put those most pressing issues on the front burner Dr. Williams, I want to thank you so much for joining us with your update this evening. Dr. Linda Williams is the president of BAMP. Thank you.